Welcome to this week's Down Home with Tina show and happy spring. It has been here now for a couple of weeks and I don't know about you, spring is one of those things where when you see the flowers all blooming and blossomed that it just gives me hope in my heart reminds me of the hope that I usually have, but it's always a nice sign. Folks, I have got a great show coming up here. I've got a couple of folks who are with me who we're gonna talk about a prom dress. It's a drive collection and giveaway. So if you've got an older prom dress out there and you wanna give it away, these folks are gonna share with us how you can submit that to them and hopefully make a young lady's night of prom be a dream come true because I know it was something for myself when I was younger that it wasn't always easy being the oldest of five girls so I did what I did however I've also got my veteran of the month and I'm so very excited many of you know him because he is a host of another television show right here on Spectrum CLN 1021 and it's Paul Jason. so don't go anywhere it's down here with Tina Fairfield Federal, when it comes to our customers and our community, we go above and beyond to help. Our people make the difference. We were uh, retiring from Tucson, Arizona, and we made a retirement trip out around Ohio, having decided where we wanted to be, and we came across this town called Lancaster, and we fell in love with the downtown area, where the fountain is, and the memorials, and the flags, and, and all the stuff. And, I looked around and I said, there's our bank, right there. There's something to be said about a, a community bank in your hometown. Right. If you live in the community, you should do business in the community as much as possible. So it makes sense to bank with the community bank that you, where you live. Fairfield Federal is the bank to be at. If, you're a bit, if you live in this town, or any town actually, you want to bank at a local home bank. And the employees are happy here, they're conversant, customer service is through the roof. There's nothing more you could ask for. Personal or business banking, whatever you need, we take it seriously because we know you do. Stop by today at any of our three locations and see why the difference is clear. Fairfield Federal Savings and Loan specializes in banking that revolves around you. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Stephanie Maholland, she is overseeing an upcoming event as well as I know many other people as well because when you have something like what she's planning on having, it takes a team and a group to make it so successful and I'm so excited. She's got along with her one of her volunteers, Shaylee, who it sounds like she is very involved and has been for a while. The event I'm speaking of, they're getting ready to have it coming up and we'll find out what's a prom dress, drive, collection and drive and giveaway. Right. So it's like a whole you guys are collecting prom dresses yes, is what it boils down yep. to. Yes. Yes. yes, and accessories. So please, if you will, Stephanie, explain to folks, because the group's called Everpresence, what is this about? Um, so I started Everpresence four years ago, um, working with teen girls, um, talking to them individually. I'm like, hey, let's just get a group of you know similar diagnosis, you know, commonalities, interests and stuff. Um, started with six girls, and last year during the summer, I ended up with 20 girls. Um, we have our hands in everything, Shaylee um, mostly, with the Special Olympics, so we help with Special Olympics all year round. Um, we started working with Maywood Mission, putting baskets together for Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas, but uh, it's a lot of social anxiety with teens right now, so getting them out there oh, yeah. and involved, you know, making them productive citizens <laughs> and, you know, <clears throat> getting over that, because like I've told the girls before, like, they're the next generation, like, be kind, right? Right. Oh yeah. Yes. That's so choose kindness. Yeah. <laughs> oh my yes, it is. My yes. <laughs> yes. And then I saw you know one of the biggest barriers and obstacle for girls going to prom is not affording these dresses or yep. accessories. So I came up with the idea, not just because my son's a senior and he's not going to prom, <clears throat> just because the girls you know that's what they were like. Oh, we should totally do this, and yeah. it's became huge. I have yeah. the downtime businesses are donating um, dinners, the flower pot. Um, our corsage, what else? Um, three salons here in town are donating hair and makeup. So we've walked around a f couple times last week asking for a donation. They're like, yes, what do you want? Right. So mm -hmm. it's going to be yeah. huge. You know what? I just, it's one of those things where, and I know I shared it with you before we got started, for myself, 
I was the oldest of, well, I am the oldest of five girls. So back in the day, mom and dad couldn't spend two or three or four hundred. Right. And I know that it is even more expensive this day and age because I recently yeah. went with my daughter and I saw a prom dress that had a price on it. Well, actually she did and it was very kind of her because she goes, I'm not gonna do this one. I'm not even gonna try this one on because of the price on it. And it is, it can be so expensive. And that doesn't even include all the other things. But talking about prom, prom night is one of those, especially for seniors, that it is the night where girls wanna go and feel like a princess. We Absolutely. see the movies. We mm -hmm. see, you know, all of the, 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 the yeah, the beautiful dresses mm -hmm. and, and what the movies make it out to be. That's really what it is in reality as well. We, we want to feel, feel good. good. And not everybody has that opportunity to be able to afford it. So I did have somebody, it was my sophomore year, which I was invited by an older young man at that time. And so mom was like, well, not only can we not really afford it, but we'll just see if you can borrow one. And I borrowed one. And that was my favorite prom. That happened to have been the time I felt the best. Do you still have the dress? What's that? Do you still have that dress? No, no. I was <laughs> borrowed it and I gave it back. Oh, so, but I, I would have Stephanie. <laughs> I would have loved that dress so much. It probably would have still been in my closet somewhere. Wow. I would have had a tough time getting rid of it. <laughs> right. So, what what are you guys looking for? Because you're doing the drive, Stephanie. When are you doing the drive? What is the the dates for it? Um, up until April 13th is when we're collecting it um, at Connections West. But there are six other agents six other you know, businesses that are doing drop-offs and I'll be going around collecting them and dropping them at Connections West. But it'll be April 14th from 12 to 5 and we'll do the raffle for okay. the dinners, the makeup, the hair. Um, on the 14th? On the 14th, right. Okay. So anybody can come, just sign in and then uh, our workers will be wearing like all black and we'll have like little pink outfits on so that they know to come and then we're going to do drawings to make it fair like oh, oh you get yeah, a yeah. dinner at the ale house or you get a free makeup session yeah um so it's just really great that the community is coming together yeah absolutely i how, love it <clears throat> how many do you expect or you have absolutely no idea because it is your first annual and that's the thing too I, we got to get the word out there so we yes. do have girls come i have probably like 300 dresses now wow like this whole room at connections west is full like yeah i still have to go to Cabana Tan next. They've got a few. Maywood Mission has some already. State Farm has a few. Um, the board DD, one of the girls I know, she's like, I'm cleaning my closet. Here's accessories. Do you need shoes? Um, but what That's I'm right. running low on is the accessories and the shoes right now. You are, okay. But dresses, yeah, from sizes like zero teeny tiny up to the highest you can do. Okay. Some from like the 70s, 80s, and like I told you earlier, like there's some dresses and they're like, with the price tag still on them, like $700 and $500. I'm like, oh, goodness. That's yeah. what I was gonna ask you <clears throat> as well. Um, is, were you looking for more like recent dresses or they could be dated no. dresses? Dated and dresses. Then they that can stuff's coming back, you didn't know it that? Is. No, yeah, it is. Okay, <laughs> it is. I'm like, that's it's coming back, so it any, yeah. everybody's, everybody's different. And they can always modify. Do you have a seamstress where you might get to the we, point where a yeah, dress they we, love and they want it to fit? We just them. actually talked about the on the way here of going to the couple ones for alterations, but yeah. Yep, okay. talked about that so today. To see if you guys Absolutely. can have somebody. So yeah. if you're not already helping out and you're a seamstress, if you're willing to help out for these young ladies. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about yourself, Shaylee. Why did you decide to get involved and become a volunteer for the organization? Um, so I wanted to be a volunteer because I like, I like, I love people and I really like helping people out. That's like one of my biggest things. I love helping people and um, I, Stephanie always talks about how like there's a bunch of stuff to volunteer for and I try to volunteer for like as many stuff as I can just so like people have extra helping hands if they need somebody to help with. So. Yeah, yeah. Now are you still in school? Uh, I'm homeschooled. Okay, you are homeschooled. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Will you get to go to prom? Or do you um, guys do? Because I know a little bit about some homeschools and they do invite or not. I wasn't um, sure. I guess if um, if it's in Fairfield, I can go to like any school's prom oh. or homecoming. Um, so hopefully I can go to homecoming this year. Okay. Or well, not this prom. year, but <coughs> right. when I get old yeah. enough. When you get yeah. old enough. Oh, okay. <laughs> so how, I don't, didn't want to ask yet. How old are you? I'm 14. That is really awesome. <laughs> what a great example that you're setting <coughs> and an inspiration yeah. you are. I start the girls out at 12. That you, you this do. Way. Yep. You yep. start at 12. Yeah. And how many do you have now you say that are involved or sometimes Currently. involved? Because they're teens. They and start, I get that. <coughs> right. Yeah. So the summer I had 20 girls and they all were spread out through volunteering, but a couple of them have graduated, a couple of them got jobs. 
Um, but usually, it's like I said, it's my fourth year. We have new batches. But I do have one one lady that's been around for four years straight, <laughs> and she's in school, or she would have came. But um, they they keep on coming back, which I, I really like that. And Can you know, any are you ever gonna leave me? No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, <clears throat> no. Any girl volunteer, or is it certain ones that you have? In so the, groups, the way to get involved, um, you can go to Integrated Services for Behavioral Health. Um, ask for Stephanie, and you know saw ever presence on on your show or ever and they will contact me and they can be mm -hmm. in my group um like i said ages 12 Start to 18 like junior high and above yeah because okay. i have curriculums for that specific age oh okay yeah okay. so i fall like for the summer session we meet every single tuesday from 12 to 4. Oh, i'll have okay. guest speakers come in we'll oh, do a okay. session we'll do an activity okay. um so i have like local like self-defense classes come in. I have a nutrition lady coming in. Okay, so they would sign up for your program. For my program. And then be a part of the volunteer. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So she does the summer program and the volunteering all over the community. Oh, that is I keep really them busy. Cool. Have you had <coughs> anything that's been your favorite so far up to this one? Because I can't imagine this has got to be a fun one. Uh, I finished um, doing cheer, which mm -hmm. has been my with favorite. Special Olympics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you did. Yeah. <laughs> How many did you get to... Um, be over and oversee or supervise, I guess, um, or be their cheer instructor? I got to be there for every single practice. I was pretty much like the co-captain of the team. Oh, How many was there, like five so or six? There, there was about like six people on the team, so I got to, you know, help out with everything, um, which was super fun. And I bet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, it was, was really it fun. Was the first time that they'd had cheerleaders? Or yeah. Usually mm -hmm. cheerleaders? Yeah. What other things are you looking to do, <laughs> Stephanie, with um, this program in the next year? Other than the, the drive. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what else we can do. Yeah. Because like for Special Olympics, um, some go to bocce ball, swimming, horses, mm, softball. softball, track. So you have many things. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I have like multiple coworkers to help me out too. Awesome. It takes a team, and I can't handle twenty girls at a time. And why did you <laughs> want to do this? I don't think I asked you. Why, why do I want to do this? Why do you want to do what? Why do you do what you do overall? The program, the the volunteering, oh putting something like this together for the girls in the community because I want something good to come out of this community like mm -hmm. working with troubled youth not you but <laughs> now <clears throat> just because I just saw so many girls coming in with the same kind of stories and issues and it just it broke my heart and I'm like come to me my babies <laughs> like <laughs> let me take you in and you know what I'm it super is, passionate about it yeah, absolutely and I think that that is fabulous that you are that way because that's an inspiration to the community as well because to be a teenager this day and age just alone with social media and always having the cameras there and always I'm like holy cow I, you yeah. know I'm thinking I was a good girl back then but I mean I had my moments somebody would catch my moment on camera you know what I mean <laughs> right, like, right. you have to be always mm -hmm. oh yeah. believe it or not yes I a have a lot of pressure I have sometimes where it's not always <laughs> I have moments of emotion <laughs> but I'm like you <laughs> thank goodness thank goodness, teenagers. Thank goodness we didn't have cell phones back then or the internet yeah. yeah, might not be sitting here. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Stephanie, that's funny. So contact information one more time and dates for the upcoming prom drive. And I know you said there are several locations. How can folks find out where those are? Um, I've seen it circling through Facebook. I know it's um, the article is in Lancaster Living Magazine that was in your mail yesterday. Lancaster City Schools have posted on their website. United um, Way has posted on their website. Okay. All the businesses have as well. And it's help high school girls fulfill their dreams of attending prom. Thank you so much, Thank Stephanie. You. Thank you so much, Shaylee. Thank you. Folks, don't go anywhere. I've got my veteran of the month coming up. And I'm so excited. I can't wait to find out what we're going to talk about. Because we both have, we both host shows. So it's hard to say if we can't stop talking. Josh might have to turn <laughs> off and be like, you guys are no, done. No, no. <laughs> be back in a minute. It's downhill with Tina. <laughs> Life is unpredictable. That's why estate planning is important. Estate planning provides you comfort and peace of mind knowing that you're taking care of your loved ones and ensuring your legacy lives on just as you envisioned. You lived a life that is beautifully and uniquely yours. You deserve an estate planning attorney who understands that and creates a plan as unique as you and in the best interest of your loved ones. You deserve the local, trusted, experienced attorneys at Dagger Law. The Frankie Smith Funeral Home and Crematory in Lancaster and the Johnson Smith Funeral Home in Baltimore have a long and wonderful history of serving our community. Feel free to give us a call at 740-653-0652. 
Stop in and see us at either of our two locations, 405 North Columbus Street in Lancaster and 207 South Main Street in Baltimore. Respect for tradition, regard for change. Welcome back to Down Home with Tina and the guest I have who is my veteran of the month is the man who needs no introduction and I did take that from Josh. <laughs> That's all right. That is That's so true. Right. Paul Jason, for those of you who you will never forget this man now after I have introduced you to those of you who didn't know him because he is amazing. He is so very <laughs> known in the community. Talking about a celebrity. Oh. I have got I told him. You're, I said very you humbling, are very humbling. You're the veteran here and I am a little nervous. Well, I am to a have veteran you. of the month. That's but you are, true. But also of doing talk shows yes, yeah. and you MC events you do so many different things mm -hmm. let's talk about your talk show before we get into yeah. that because I know for the army you were in the army and we could talk for I, I'm an army <laughs> vet and I could go on and on and on so we're gonna start off first with the things that you do today you have a show yourself that you host do Fairfield today yes and I kind of followed Stan Robinson who was kind of my mentor very very fortunate to to even know Stan but then to have worked with him for for several years and then when he retired, I was fortunate enough to follow in his footsteps. You, you just you do that job, but you don't replace Stan. I mean, Stan is there is truly a legend right there. No, everybody knew Stan. Yeah. Well, Paul, you are on your way. Well, working yourself. He into was that. legendary <laughs> status in my book. So, and he did so many things, and oh. we miss him dearly. Miss oh, him you're dearly. right. But you have continued and kept things going, well, and you are. Thank you. And Thank you're you. doing amazing. And it's, like I said, so many know, so many people know you. But you do a lot of things like out in the community. Like you announce different parades. Yeah, yeah well, most of it, is, it revolves around veterans activities. That's where I kind of hone in on. I, uh, you know, uh, when I was in, I was only in two years, and I honestly thought I'd never get out. And now I've been out 55 years. It's hard to imagine that, that, that that's occurred. Why did you think that you were never going to get out? Because I was not made to be a soldier. That oh. was not my cup of tea. I was drafted. I didn't okay. join. They oh, invited okay. me to that dance. And so oh. I was somebody that, that struggled with being in the military. Oh. It wasn't always my cup of tea. Yeah. But now I look back and I say it was a great two years. I, didn't, I couldn't see that then. But now, uh, from a distance, in hindsight, I, thought I really benefited from that. Yes. Yeah. And I'm sure you, you saw that too. Absolutely. And I wouldn't have any problem now with the draft coming back and everybody serving some kind of time, like they do in England. Uh huh. You know, they, mm -hmm. they, and there's a mandatory service over there. I wouldn't have any problem with that now. And I have so much respect for young people now who either join the military or join the reserves or the guard, because if you do that, you're yeah. going to be going where the action is. Yeah, well, I was recently asked, I was taking a class and a fella who was sitting behind me, something came up and he said, so, he knew I was a veteran, we got to talk about that or whatever, and he said, so, if you were, if you had to go today, would you go today? I said, absolutely, without a doubt, in my mind, and he looked at me and I go, <laughs> if I'm able and willing and I can walk and I can do yeah. something to help, Yep, I would. So it's, it's a different time now. It yeah, really is, yeah. and I'm like, but I do. I say that where I, but I feel like if there is something that I could do, you yeah. know what I mean. In, I was in, in order during, to help. Yeah, not that I could be Vietnam, maybe much. So but it was a, a kind different of a time. crazy time back then. Absolutely, time, yeah. absolutely. So what are the some of the events that you do volunteer? Well, like to say, it, I kind of revolve around uh, military. I'm uh, I'm very fortunate. I get to do some really cool things. I uh, I MC the Memorial Day parade. Mm -hmm. which every year is down at Forest Row Cemetery. Very meaningful service. That's just wonderful. It's actually on that, that Monday morning. And then uh, I also do Veterans Day, which is, mm -hmm. of course, November 11th at 11 a.m. That's, that's when we do it, when the armistice was signed. And I do that downtown at the uh, Veterans Park. And then one I've started doing the last, I don't know, six or seven years. Uh, it's called Freedom's Never Free. Yes. It's an event at the fairgrounds, and I think I, I saw you uh, sometimes over there. Yes. And I get to MC a couple of events there, and then I get to read off, which is what you did, read off all the names of the people that get flags. I love uh, that. In the fairgrounds and that field of flags out there, and that's a wonderful event. So I'm, I'm just very fortunate to get to do some pretty cool things with the military. Do you kind of just, when you stand there, it's, it's a moment of like, Oh. being so proud and, oh, and then of course the, that's arms. what's it yeah oh. yeah get goosebumps oh, it's, it's very moving you know when you hear taps played after all that's over oh oh or the bag part playing amazing grace mm -hmm. i mean come on i mean 
who wouldn't get moved by that? Right, right, yeah. absolutely. Just very lucky, very oh, yeah. lucky guy. Yes, yes, we are. So tell me a little bit about um, some of the extracurricular things you do. Other well, than I'm involved that. with my church. I do a lot of things with the church, and I sing in a couple groups around town. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah. There's one called the Langster Community Chorus, which is a big, a big group uh, headed by Clarence McCoy, and uh, we. Uh, we do through about three or four concerts a year. What now that COVID's over and you're kind of back into things, and so, you're getting ready to do one. Is yeah. it? It's right before Easter. Uh, it's actually right, is it, wait, this Sunday. I, oh, Animal Crackers. Oh, called. Animal Crackers. Okay, Animal okay, crackers. okay. And they do them out at uh, Crossroads, uh -huh. out on uh, on West Fair Avenue. So, okay, so yeah, th that's kind of what keeps my time. I didn't know I, I'm glad I don't have a job now because my wife is always saying I don't know where you'd find <laughs> time to work. And I've I've heard of people that when they retire they just they don't have anything to do. They just sit around and their wives say, "Why don't you get up?" Well, my wife's never said that to me. Right. I I get out and get involved sometimes a little more than I should. But, right. But right. It's always all great fun. I do things I like. If you don't use it, you'll lose it. Yeah. Is what I believe. So and, keep and, on going. And like um, I say, I just do things I like to do. So if I get to do an event, well. uh, I enjoy doing it. So I've gotten to do them for a decade now on this kind of stuff and all the military things. And uh, yeah, just a lot of fun. In fact, I wore my uh, oh, honor flight. Oh, you did that. I went on an honor flight last October. Share that experience, please. That was one of the most unbelievable days I've ever had. Had Aww. to get up at Port Columbus at like 4.30 in the morning. Uh, checked in, got your shirt, got all involved. Uh, you fly to D.C., you hit about eight or nine military monuments. You don't go to all the monuments because there's, there's some of them aren't military necessarily, but we hit a few of them, like Lincoln and, and like that. But then you go to all the Air Force, the Navy, the Army, the, the Marine Corps, you hit all those things, and it's an entire day right there, and then you fly back that evening, and then when you come home, everybody's at Port Columbus. You have a huge throng of people cheering you, oh. and it's a charter flight. Uh, we took two planes over. I was in Flight 109. Also, Flight 110 went that day. And it, we went on a beautiful day. It was in October. It was shorts, uh -huh. short sleeve shirt, just nice. a fabulous day, and two planes completely full of veterans. So, wow! Yeah, it's, it was a wonderful time. How did you get to do that, Paul? Well, I I, I honestly never thought I would do that because I always felt that was for World War II or Korean veterans, guys wow. that did a lot more than me in the service. Who I always but. <gasps> Apparently now most of them have gone that have wanted to go or perhaps now are, are able to go. Right. And so uh, a, a friend of mine said, uh, you ought to apply for that. So I did. And they'd say, well, it's probably going to be, this was last year. And he said, well, it's probably going to be this year before you get to go. I said, well, that's all right. I'm in no hurry. Four days later, they called me and said, can you go next month? I said, okay, I'm there. Aww. So it was, it, but I would encourage any veteran to look that up. It's just honor flight. If you just uh -huh. uh, search engine, put that in there. Honor Flight and uh, Columbus Group is very active. They do a terrific job. They're nice. a wonderful group. I'm so glad that you shared yeah, that. That's yeah. pretty cool. So I want you to go ahead, before I give you your Veteran of the Month gift, will you please let folks know about the show and the time of when and how they can see your show, Fairfield Today? Well, my show, uh, I do it much the same as you do. I tape it at Fairfield Federal downtown uh, on Tuesdays. I, I tape every other week, tape two shows at a time. And uh, it, it usually starts running about the, the a Tuesday morning. I tape a week ahead, so what I would tape on a Tuesday would run the next Tuesday. And, it, and it's, uh, it's on the same channels as 1021, the yep, yep. CLN network. And, uh, just and YouTube. I know they've got you on YouTube as yeah, well. Yeah, they do yep. that. And, yep. and it's probably very similar to what you do. You get to interview people you like to talk to. That's what I do. Oh I get goodness. to interview people I like Is it not fun? Interview. It is. It's people ask me, I fortunate. hope you have a great day. Absolutely. And yeah. it's like... It's show day. That's uh, all I need yeah. to say. <laughs> and you, you just, I get you, like is. you, you get to meet so many people you perhaps wouldn't have gotten to meet. Absolutely. Otherwise. Yeah. Certain. Not all military. It's just anything it's that goes. Anybody. Yeah. And we have a great time meeting yeah. the wonderful, inspirational people in our community. Yep. So it is um, better in the month. I've got Paul just in with me. Well, so I have a, a soda drink. I don't know. I heard that Coke, your favorite. Coke your is. Favorite, that's um, a, the actual. That's perfect. That's perfect. The perfect, perfect. one. That not right. just any. It, I. I got to say, I was on hand. and some other goodies in here. Well, Ava Jewelers gift card in here. Tina, thank Paul, you just, so much. Honey, thank for you so me much. On. Well, just thank for you so much doing. for having me on. I'm I'm honored you even to have me on because I'm, like I say, just a, another flunky 
veteran out there that just did his part and did no more. But No, Paul is an amazing man, and I hope you get to watch Fairfield today because he's going to keep on going. And don't, <laughs> folks, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. foster care I never knew when I would have to move so I always had my suitcase ready to go then one day I was adopted my new parents opened their hearts and home to me my parents cook my favorite breakfast for me every morning my parents take me on trips I never thought I would go on they gave me a home and an even better reason to use that suitcase my parents aren't perfect but they're perfect for me Down Home with Tina is brought to you by these amazing sponsors. Folks, I'm not sure if you're aware of this or not, but you're about to be. Down Home with Tina is sponsor driven. So they are the reason why I get to come on here and talk about the amazing things and highlight my veterans of the month and my first responders and teachers and students and inspirational folks. So I just, it's a great big, huge thank you to those sponsors. Also, you can find Down Home with Tina on Facebook, my Down Home with Tina Facebook page. CLN, your hometown connection is on YouTube. You just gotta look for the playlist of Down Home with Tina. Also, you can find us on Spectrum 1021. Folks, it is happy spring, and I tell you what, it is. we all know what Ohio is, so I wanted to share with you, not a positive message, but a Tina tip this week about the springtime weather. I'm telling you what, it's one of those things where one day it could possibly be snow. I know it has snowed at the end of April, maybe even into May at one time. So what is it? What do we got to keep in a car? We got to keep gloves and hats in case we go to work and then at the end of the day, you know, an eight hour day, there might be snow on the ground. A shovel because it depends on how much snow might be coming on the ground or flip flops in case it gets so warm that you get in the car and you feel like you need to yeah, it's just so fun. I love Ohio weather. I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. Those are just some of my tips. Make sure you just pack up the car and have extra stuff in there because you never know what the day is going to bring. And you know what? As I think about it, that is about what life is also. So I guess I do have a little bit of a positive message after all. Just go with it in stride. And remember, a quote I shared a couple of a few weeks ago now is don't worry about the things you cannot change. Have a great week. I'll be back next week. God bless. Hugs and blessings. It's Down Home with Tina.